the record-breaking musical Cats is back in Taiwan. The show's cats, uh, cast and crew who went through 21 days of quarantine and self-health management say they are excited to entertain Taiwanese audiences. Starting February 10th, the actor will perform 36 shows in six countries and cities across Taiwan. FTV reporter Stephanie Young takes us on the behind the scenes to look at the production. A gorgeous stage set combined with dazzling choreography and classic songs. This is a Tony Award-winning production, Cats. Since 1982, the musical has thrilled audiences around the world. Now, it's made a stop in Taiwan once again. I got a behind-the-scenes look at the production. This is a cast makeup room. The costume combines cat and human features. The costumes and makeup are different for every actor, and they reflect each character's distinct personality. Over 100 wigs and around 500 costumes were shipped to Taiwan. Some actors play several roles, so for them to be able to change quickly, the costumes are placed in order of appearance. One of the wardrobe director's duties is to keep track of all the costumes and wigs and to repair them immediately when they're damaged. The cast wardrobe is quite expensive, so daily ironing, cleaning and maintenance are a must. In this show, it's a very design-heavy show, so I think there are over 100 wigs and probably about 500 costumes. Obviously, all the actors have to do their own makeup as well. So it's a very design-heavy show. Well, we're incredibly grateful to be here during the pandemic. I think a lot of industry, theatre industries around the world have closed and then had to reopen and then close again and reopen. But because I think um, here they've managed to keep the numbers under control and keep you, the country very safe, we're very happy to be here. And we had to um, obviously undergo the quarantine process for 21 days, but we kept rehearsing in, on Zoom. Cats is a very physical show and requires very rigorous training 12 hours a day. The cast have a physical therapist to help them stretch and provide massage. So because they're crouched down like cats for a good portion of the show, a lot of them tend to have hip tightness um, and this just creates space in the hip joint, allows them to be able to move efficiently so that they get full range of motion. The stage director says that the stage design was inspired by a junkyard, and the seemingly simple set actually contains many hidden details. For example, cats can run out of the back compartment. There are water pipe channels that allow actors to shuttle inside, and even swings that allow actors to really swing. The set simulates scenes of cats living and playing on the street. With the unique lighting and props, the stage is a five-star playground for cats. Um, the set and costumes and makeup and wigs are all designed by John Napier, who's an amazing set designer in the UK. And when the creative team came up, you know, with this concept of cats and where are all these gonna, cats going to meet, they, um, they settled on a junkyard, and that's what John Napier has created, which is a, junk, a junkyard where everything is um, to a cat's perspective, so everything is much bigger than um, it would normally be in a normal junkyard, but it's all designed specifically so that the cats look the right size. According to Cats producer Gareth Williams, bringing cats from Broadway to Taipei Arena was not an easy feat. There are many differences infrastructurally the, um, behind the scenes that you, the audience probably wouldn't be able to tell. But to put the show in arena does take a lot of um, additional work, but it's mainly to do technical things like rigging and support structures. But um, in Taipei, you often have shows in an arena, so you're very good at putting them in. Cats will perform 36 shows and tour six cities across Taiwan, including Taipei, Xinzu, Hualien, Taizong, Kaohsiung, and Tainan. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Lu Botong in Taipei.